Hey everyone here from TunnelVision TV and welcome back to this Premiere Pro uh, video series. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic color correcting and color grading um, in Premiere Pro. So I'm going to bring in this clip onto my timeline or into my sequence and then we're going to color grade this clip. So um, now we're going to go up to Window Workspaces and currently we are in the Editing Workspace and we're going to go into the Color Workspace. So just click on Color here and then it's going to bring up some extra tools here on the side. So now simply you can select your clip that you want to color grade. So I'm going to click on this clip to highlight it and then it's going to activate all these controls. And um, now you've got your basic correction, you've got creative and some other things like curves, color wheels, your secondary and your vignette here. Um, so we're going to start with basic correction. So if I click on basic correction, it's going to drop down, it's going to give me all these extra tools. And I'm just going to quickly run through this. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do color grading or color correcting. It's basically just what you want to get out of your picture. So first of all, I'm going to show you the temperature. So you can either go cooler or warmer. So as you can see, it goes more orange or more into the blues. Um, I'm going to set that back to around zero. Um, you can also tint it, so more towards green or purple. And we can set this back to zero again. And then you've got your uh, exposure. So that's basically just making it brighter or darker. And uh, then you also have your contrast. So you can just make it more contrasty or less contrast. Uh, you can also change the highlights and your shadow intensity so if you bring up the shadows it will actually just make the shadows a bit brighter and you can bring your highlights down if you want to add more detail in the highlighted areas and then you can change the intensity of the white level and also the black level so you can just change that um, independently here and let's go into creative so this is where you can change things like faded film you can make it look a little bit old something like that you can also change the sharpness here of the video and uh, vibrance is similar to saturation. You can also change the saturation here to add more intensity to the colors, as you can see there. And uh, then you can go into your curves. You can add some adjustment curves here. This is just a different way to add more color or contrast to your image. And um, I'm going to skip color wheels and secondary for this. This is very basic just to do some um, color correction. And lastly, we can go into vignette. And then you can add the amount of vignette. So you can bring that down. Then you can also change the midpoint, which is basically the size of that circle, or the ellipse that it's affecting, and also the roundness. So you can make it more square or more round. So I'm going to leave it in the middle somewhere, and then you can also feather that. If you bring it down, it's going to have a harsh um, edge like that. And if you feather it, it will just make that vignette nice and soft. So that's basically how you can do some basic color correction and um, color grading in Premiere. I'm going to go back to the editing workspace. So under window workspaces and then editing. And what you can also do now is if you click on this clip that you've color graded and you go to your effect controls, you'll see that it's added this Lumetri color effect. If you scroll down here, you can do all those corrections or uh, change these parameters in here as well. So I can go ahead and I can change the temperature right here inside the effect controls on that clip and if you want to delete or remove this Lumetri color effect I can simply just click on it and I can hit delete on the keyboard and it's going to go back to default you can also I'm going to undo that and then you can also click on the FX next to Lumetri color that's just to enable it or uh, disable it so that's disabled and that's enabled and that's just a quick way to uh, to see the difference between or what that effect is actually doing to that clip. And that's how you do basic color grading and color correcting inside of Premiere Pro. I will see you guys in the next video.